As many of you know, there will be some major changes here on YouTube in the next couple of days. Now let's take a quick look at what YouTube has done so far to phase out the smaller channels over the last year. First they've hidden the top rated and most discussed categories on their website. Now it used to be in plain sight, is now invisible, unless you mouse over the more tab. Now this is the second time they've done this. Also notice how the rating system has been almost completely removed from YouTube. This will be the equivalent of removing the feedback from eBay. Now when you go to the popular or most viewed pages, there is no rating showing at all. And this is to prevent blatant corporate commercials for being one star to death and ignored by the YouTube community. More importantly, notice how the most viewed page is no longer the default page when you open YouTube when you're logged in. Now the default tab is the one called popular. This is another way of promoting partners in copyright infringing videos, as shown here in this screenshot. This process filters the majority of views to partners, helping build them into mega channels like Fred. This channel is like a mock arena of YouTube, except it won't go away. And that's why this channel grew so fast and why yours does not. Now if you're on the front page of YouTube almost nonstop, your channel will grow like this too unless you actually believe it grew to this size because of sheer talent. Also YouTube has hindered the bulletins feature and they even messed the view counters as well and it's crippled the views of the smaller channels, yet the large ones seem to be completely unaffected by these changes. I know smaller partners on YouTube whose revenue has gone down dramatically since these changes took place. Now we come to these new changes that are happening this week. It got leaked to the public that YouTube would now be cutting the original site down from its normal size to only 25 percent of what it is now. So in essence, this will do to the YouTube section of the site what they've already done to the top rated category. Your total views will be cut in half, if not more. So what does this mean? Well, the first tab will now be movies, the next tab will be TV shows, and the third tab will be music, and the final and last tab will be videos. That videos tab will represent the entire YouTube website as we know it. So that means that all of YouTube will be stuck in that last tab as an afterthought, just like top rated was as a category. So why is this being done? It's because of bringing on the big boys like Disney. Companies like Disney want all the traffic pointing towards them, and thus increasing their revenue at your expense. They have television networks, TV shows, and theme parks, but that is not enough. These companies want to dominate YouTube as well, one of the few places that a small independent channel can make their own market. So how will this affect you? It will utterly destroy your visibility on this website and make you almost non-existent. And if you follow the rate at which YouTube has been slowing down the growth of independent channels while promoting their mega partners, it won't be long before we go from this to this. They appear to want you off this website as a creator, and they seem to only want you here as a consumer. And that is why they still haven't fixed the DMCA problems here on YouTube. It's been over seven months since this video was made, and nothing has been changed yet to my knowledge. In the last 12 to 18 months, YouTube has made change after change to reduce the independent channel's exposure here on YouTube. And now with this next step, it will almost be complete. So what do we do about it? First, we need to come together and demand that this site remains like it has been with a few exceptions. If they want to add movies, TV shows, and music to YouTube, they need to be additions and not take priority over the entire YouTube website. Second, we want the ratings visible again so we know what's crap and what's worth watching. Third, we want the old successful format back where the top rated most discussed and top favorites are visible again like this. Fourth, we want you to drop the popular and rising pages from this website because they are worthless pages that you manipulate to grow channels like Fred. Let the community decide what's popular because we're tired of you trying to tell us what's popular. We also want the default page to be the top rated, most discussed, or even the most viewed, nothing else. And we want there to be 500 videos per section and not 100 anymore. YouTube is way too big to only do a top 100 now. And finally, make the views count equally and no demotion or censoring of videos like you've already done with several of my videos. I have proof that you censor my channel and videos multiple times with screenshots and full video so don't even try to deny it. And if some of you don't believe me, check out these two videos on my channel. They were both allowed to be flagged by YouTube. We review flagged videos 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.
and in most cases, they're reviewed and acted on in under an hour. And they had nothing offensive in them whatsoever. And take a look at the comments. Many of them asked why these were even flagged in the first place. And this video was removed completely. So if you want to just push us aside for companies like Disney, we can start treating you like we did Viacom. Because now, we all know that you were the real problem all along. And stop using products like Google Chrome, the G1, or Google Earth. Literally anything your name is on. And I like Firefox 3 much better anyways. Or better yet, we can start emailing companies that advertise with your website. That's them to stop advertising with a company that promotes censorship and has hypocritical business practices. You say you're for free speech. We encourage free speech and defend everyone's right to express unpopular points of view. And yet you've clearly censored my own videos as well as many others. And we'll start by focusing on companies like Disney and Burger King to begin with. I don't know who's been handling the business negotiations between YouTube and its potential business partners, but with how bad things went between Viacom, Warner Music Group, and now with blocking all the music to the UK, it's clear that because of your inability to handle your business properly, we've had to pay for all your incompetence with business negotiations. And now you're selling the YouTube users out to big companies like Disney, and you think we're just going to lie down and take it. I don't think so. Many of us have been on here for years, and a small piece of this site does belong to us. We've earned it, and we've helped make this site successful. Early on, we all thought Viacom was the problem. Now we all know that you were the cause of most of these problems all along, and now it's coming home to roost. Large companies are taking their content somewhere else, and now you're stabbing your most loyal users in the back with this next move. For the ones that defend YouTube when they see this video, keep in mind that we all loved this site at one time. And that's why we're still here right now. But the YouTube that we all liked is gone. And this site is the same in name only. YouTube 2009 has nothing in common with YouTube 2006. If you agree with this video and want to support it, download it and re-upload it to your channel and make sure you post it here as a video response. And if you want to feature this video on your channel, be my guest. And we also have a petition that you can sign along with a newsletter to keep you posted on the news regarding this change. So if you want to try to help, throw a comment on this video, even if it's something small like the word support or agree. Also, rate and favor this video and share it with your friends. And for you YouTube partners that think these changes won't affect you, you need to think again. Even if you're in the top 50 most subscribed all time, and you think you're so big and successful that you can't be made irrelevant here on YouTube, then I have three letters for you. MTV. They used to play music videos, and now look what it's become. And many of you will also become afterthoughts when companies like Disney take over this website. And you'd be a fool to think you can compete with that type of content. So if you don't want to help and speak out and try to keep YouTube for the users, fine. But don't say you weren't warned. Your revenue is going to be cut drastically, and then in six months to a year, you're going to be thinking, I wish I'd have spoke up back then, but then it's going to be too late. So my question to the large YouTube partners is, are you going to join with the rest of the community or sell us out thinking that you're really coming along for the ride? Because they're going to dump you and your channel in a heartbeat and make a full replacement in a matter of months if your videos don't sell advertisements well. It's all about ad revenue. And if you don't sell ads, then you'll be gone. Just like on TV. Because that's what YouTube is trying to become. Hell, these are the same types of people that almost canceled Seinfeld and Cheers after their first season. And they actually did cancel Family Guy. So if you think your channel is better than those shows, then you have nothing to worry about. But if you don't, then your future here is in doubt too. And if you don't think that you can be replaced, it only took them 26 days after Fred's first video to get him to 100,000 subscribers. Now imagine how fast major TV shows will get to that same number. And it probably took most of you two years to reach that number if you're even there yet. So don't let them fool you. You have no future in this new Hulu tube. So it's up to you to do something about it.